Jason Young, jasonyoungfitness.com. I'm here. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, kettlebell windmill, how to do the kettlebell windmill. Okay? So there's a few variations. I'll just show you a couple here today. Alright? Uh, this is how I learned it, the basic variation of the windmill. First off, you're going to take the kettlebell. We're going to do the left hand first. So left hand goes to the inner right side of the kettlebell. Okay. So left hand, inner right side of the kettlebell, where it starts to round, or where the top meets the uh, side part of the horns. Your feet want to be about hip width apart. You're going to take your left hand, grab the inner right right part of the bell. You can get it up however you please. You can curl it and press it, clean it, press it, or snatch it up overhead. Okay? So once it's here, pressing up overhead. Right now my feet are facing straight. Okay? Bell is locked out. Elbow, shoulder, wrist locked out, all in line with hip, uh, knee, and ankle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since I'm doing my left side, I'm going to windshield wipe my feet out to the right. Okay, so now they're pointing that way, all right, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to jut my butt and my hip out towards the left, okay, always looking up at the bell, everything's locked out, jutting, you can take your arm, push down, guide yourself down, guide yourself down, guide yourself down, okay, once you reach the bottom, all right, then you're going to engage your glute and then bring it back up to the top. Okay? So again, in fast motion, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, all the way to the bottom. Engage the glute, up. Exhale as you come up to the top. Okay? So, when you're doing the windmill, okay, this, the leg that has the bell over it, all right, that leg needs to stay as straight as possible through the entire motion, okay? The other leg you can bend a little, all right? I'm not that flexible, so it bends a little more than I like, but uh, that's the basic windmill. So when you're, and then when you're a beginner, you're guiding your hand down your leg, okay? And touching the floor. Going down as low as you can. If you can't get down um, to parallel, uh, don't worry about it. Just come back up. Go down as low as you can, come back up. So when you start, just do your body weight. The body weight will be fine, um, especially when you're learning technique, you want to get it down before moving up in weight. And that was called the high windmill. There is a low windmill, which I'll show you here. Low, this is the low windmill. Alright, so arm is up overhead, bell is up overhead, come down. Alright, always looking at the bell. Jutting the hip out, the butt back. Okay, we're grabbing the bell down at the bottom, and then we're pulling back up at the top. Pull back down as low as you can. Back up. And then, if you want a little more range of motion, take the guide hand out, so like so. All right, doing the right side now. Okay, picture. Uh, Left hand on your lower back, always looking at the bell, coming down as low as you can, keep the legs straight, come back up, down, down, up, alright, so that basically is it. Uh, for the high and low windmill, uh, there's a couple different variations, but that's the basic uh, variation that you can do. The key points on the high windmill, which is what we'll do for the online boot camp most of the time, uh, when you have the bell up overhead, you want the bell resting on the meaty part of your palm. Okay? You don't want your hand like that, you want it straight up, okay? and you want everything locked out overhead. And everything is in line. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, hip, 
knee, ankle, all in line as you're going down. Once it's at this point, you're going to windshield your, uh, your feet out to the opposite side that the bell is overhead. Okay? Then you're going to jut your hip out, come down. Okay? When you're starting, guide your hand down. Always be looking up at the bell. All the way down, as low as you can. Okay? And then you're engaging your glute and pushing back up. All right? So you're going to feel this in your... Your glute, your uh, oblique muscle, your low back, all right, and then you're obviously going to feel it through your shoulder girdle because that's stabilizing, and your back is also be stabilizing, all right. So it's a great overall movement, and then you can do be, get a little creative with your windmills, all right. You can do a high and low windmill. Which I'll show you here. Okay, bell up. Once you want the feet out. Come down. All right, as slow as you can. Grab the other bell on the floor. Come up, and you got it. Okay. I'll do another rep. All right. So that's the kettlebell windmill. Hope you enjoyed this. Give the exercise a try. Again, this is Jason Young. I'll see you later.